behind me are some RGB lights. Let's figure out how to hook them up. Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, today we're going to be working on an RGB tutorial, get you guys started with that. Uh, so for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to be doing uh, the RGB light and the RGB indicator light. Uh, so we can go ahead and grab those for the sake of this. Uh, there we go right there guys. Uh, we're going to do ourselves a new microcontroller here. Uh, we're going to call this PNC RGB. Uh, that's how we'll name it and we'll put it down here as well. PNC. RGB. All right, and we don't need this thing to be any bigger than this, so we can go ahead and jump into, actually, no, we need to we need to add some logic here. What am I thinking? Uh, so the first one uh, we're gonna need is a number, and that is gonna be a input. Uh, and this is gonna read whatever numbers that we want to read to turn the colors of the RGB. Does that make sense? Uh, this, is, this is the number that we're reading, and it'll make sense. Uh, next up, we're gonna need a composite. Posit, and this is gonna be an output, and this is just gonna send the signal out to the actual lights themselves. Out to light, there we go. All right, so let's jump into the logic. Uh, very simple here. Uh, I'll try to do my best to make this where you can understand it. Uh, if you don't understand RGB, uh, you might wanna go and look that up a little bit. It's uh, like a hex code, decimal code kind of thing. Um, red, green, blue light. Uh, are used to make colors uh, using different variances of that color. Uh, with these three different colors of light, you can actually produce over 16 million different colors. Uh, it's really cool, but you got to know the decimal code for these. And if, if you don't understand those, just kind of look up those. They work in like numbers of 255 and down, and then you'll kind of understand this when you come back. Uh, but yeah, uh, for those of you that do understand it, and for those of us that color down in the corner here on our regular builds, uh, that will actually give you the numbers for this. Uh, so for the first things we need to do is I'm going to grab a property number. Uh, property, property, property number. Uh, we're going to do three of these here. And these are going to represent our red, our green, and our blue values here that are coming in. Uh, so next, uh, we're going to grab ourselves a function block. Uh, we just need a simple function block. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to get three of these. Uh, we're going to connect these straight into this. So we've got our red going straight into one, our green, and our blue. Now, remember I said that each value is a 0 to 255. So that's what we're going to have to do here. Uh, we're going to have to take our value and divide x divided by 255. Because the way the game reads it, it only reads it through one and zero. So we've got to take our, our 255 number and divide it down so we can get a number that our actual composite will read. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing here on all of these. I'm gonna copy and paste those over, copy and paste, perfect. So now we can come in, we could physically change this in on our microcontroller to change our colors for the light. It'll come in, it'll divide the number. If it's 255 here, it'll give us a one signal. If it's a zero, it'll give us a zero here. And that's exactly what we need. Uh, so now we are going to need a composite right. Uh, so we're going to come in here, actually, composite right number. Uh, and for this, we're going to need three channels, one, two, and three. And that is going to be our red, green, and blue. Uh, so simple enough. We're going to come in here, connect, connect, and connect. Uh, we're also going to need a composite switch box. Uh, and this will make a sense in just a second. And so we'll grab here. We'll go ahead and feed our composite through to that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to grab is a threshold. And we'll put our threshold here. That's going to connect up to our composite switch box. And this is the value that we're going to read to say, turn on this first color. So if, let's say for the example of this, you're making uh, rescue lights. You want red and blue. So this first segment here would be set up as red. The second segment would be set up as blue. And then your threshold would be different values to allow it to switch between that. And there's other ways to do that. But for the sake of this, we're just going to learn how to change the colors here and get this working. So now that we've got our threshold coming in, we can come in here and we can change that to there. We'll hook that input up. Uh, for the sake of this, since our, we'll use a throttle for the example of this. Uh, we'll come back and we'll do a 0.3. So 0 to 0.3 will turn on this color that we have set here. Uh, we don't have any color set here. 
So we'll just do a 255 here, uh, and that will uh, that'll give us a red. And that should be good there. Uh, the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to copy all of this. Copy, paste. We've done all the important math and stuff on that now. This is all connected here. So now to get our signal to come through, we're going to have to bring this composite here down to here. And this one is going to have to come down to here. And this is just going to pass our signal through. Uh, and then this, let's say we give this a yellow color. So we'll do 255 here and we'll do 255 here and that will give us yellow. So we'll go red, yellow, and we'll bring this over to here like that. And let's say this was a 0.3. We need to do 0.31 to we'll say 0.6. And then we'll copy all of this again. We're gonna do this one more time. And you'll see, we, you can do this as many times as you want, but for the sake of this, we're only gonna use three colors. Uh, so again, I'm gonna pull, whoops. I'm gonna bring my composite down. My composite down. We're gonna bring the final composite out to here, which is now gonna go through our light. So all this composite is running through each other. Uh, let's bring our input to here. Uh, let's change this to a 0.61. And we're just going to change this to a one. So now we should be able to, oops, we need to come up here and we can just delete this, which will make that a zero. That's easy enough, 255 and zero. And that should give us uh, red, yellow, green now when we do this. Uh, so now we can uh, and save this. There we go, save it. We can come back here. Let's actually come back over to our symbol. Uh, let's do this here so we know which one we're actually working with. All right, and then we'll need an RGB on here in a way. RGB. Close enough. Uh, I could make that more perfect, but it's for the sake of the tutorial. Anyway, all right, let's uh, let's save that again. You can see RGB. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's find that one. Here we go. PNC RGB. We're gonna plug it up here. We also need a battery for the sake of this. Uh, so we can grab ourselves a battery. We're gonna slap that down right there. And one more thing, we need a throttle. Uh, now this can be anything. It doesn't have to be a throttle. Any number input that you want coming in here, you can do this. And there are several other ways to do this, but for the sake of this, this is what we're doing. Uh, hook that up to there. Composite can now go to here and here. And let's hook up our electricity. And we're gonna spawn this in and give it a test and see how it does. Uh, man, it is really far, way over there. We should move it closer. All right, so the throttle is on uh, zero and we are distributing a red light here. So let's move it up. Uh, now we are into the 3.1 error. So we are now in our yellow. And if we keep going, we are now in the segment that allows for green. So there you go. Uh, that's it. That is how you set up RGB. Uh, super simple, super easy. I uh, hope you learned something from this. Uh, you guys have any questions about this make sure you comment down below i'll be happy to try to answer them i try to answer all comments uh but yeah i hope this uh helps you with your rgb problems uh i know i was having some problems so i want to make sure you guys understood how to do this quite easy uh and again there are other ways to do it but this is the way that i've learned how and this is the way that i think is pretty easy and it gives you quite a bit of options because literally all you have to do is just keep copying and pasting and you can add more and more and more colors uh you could add all 16 million 111,000, whatever there are but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. Uh, if you did learn something from this tutorial, make sure you smash a like on this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Later.